Hello, Cup Coders, and welcome back to Wizard Training on the Cup Coat server. I am your host, as always, Magus96. And as you see today, I am not wearing my magical armor. I have taken it off. That's right. I, it is now sitting right there. I made a nice little stand for it. And that's because we are upgrading. We are no longer going to be using this mage armor. We're going to be using the archmage armor. So let's go take a look real quick. I've got all the recipes I believe just about ready. Hold up, we're missing something. I'm hearing. Hold up. Let's go look. Let's go look. Ah, here it is. We need these things here. Go ahead and make these. Now, I put these in here. I didn't go ahead and make them because I haven't shown you the gold inlay recipe yet. But there it is. It's just a bunch of gold bars around a purified Ventium dust. Oh, whoop. Oh, need to grab from there. And I ha also haven't shown you the iron. One, pretty much the same thing. Arcane ash and iron ingots. That makes your iron inlay. So we're going to go ahead and craft those up. I don't actually need them right yet. But you do need to know how to use those for summoning the bosses. Now, all the bosses are outlined in the compendium. Or should be. Uh, when you get to the right level, they will, they will unlock and you'll be able to see them. But for now, let's get over here. We're using the gold inlays. On all of these recipes, that was the only missing ingredient for each of these recipes was the gold inlay. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so now, there's the Battle Mage Circlet. It pretty much four pieces of obsidian, one gold inlay, a blank rune, and water essence makes your Battle Mage Circuit. Circlet, sorry. Brr. Now, uh, the Battle Mage Circlet provides you protection of water. Uh, you pretty much stay underwater for a lot longer than normal so it's definitely really good to have that next you have the battle mage armor which provides you earth which you need earth two blank runes five pieces of obsidian and the gold inlays battle mage armor gives you protection of earth i don't remember you have to look it up but um I'm trying to think of what it, exactly that was I'll have to look it up again. All right, then there's Battle Mage Leggings, which gives you a little bit of fire protection. Did I just hear a Enderman in my house? Really? Seriously? Gee, man. All right, so Battle Mage Leggings gives you a little bit of fire protection. It's four pieces of obsidian, two gold inlays, fire essence, and a blank room. Last but not least is the Battle Mage Boots. Now, as you see, it's four obsidian, two blank runes, one gold inlay, and air essence, and this gives you pretty much kind of the same thing as feather falling at the last second just before you hit the ground. It's awesome. Hi, Dubroom. All right, let's go find this freak that's up there. There's an Enderman around here. All right, well, you know what? I need to level up anyways. Let's go fight. Let's go fight. I have half an episode to go and nothing to cover in it. Oh, it reminds me. Yes, we do have something to talk about. Um, we are really close to being done with Ars Magica. Hard to... Sorry, concentrate and you know, fight and talk at the same time. Uh, like I said, we were very close to being done with Ars Magica. I really, after the next steps, after this week, essentially, uh, the only items I have left to cover are things that, well, uh, being honest with you, would take forever for me to actually get them because I'd have to level up and get stronger and then fight the bosses and get the items. So instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is we are going to... I'm going to use creative in the last two episodes as far as Magicka. Um, by that, I'm going to log in with my administrative account and record using that account instead of this one. That way I can show you some of the other items that you get from the bosses and what those items do. Excuse me. But so that pretty much means I've got one more week of Ars Magica left. Now, unfortunately, though, I'm not going to have time to upgrade the server just yet because um, I mean, Christmas season let's be honest with you there's a lot going on we got Christmas shopping Christmas decorations got a lot of stuff going on at work it's just it's, it's really busy time for me right now 
So, what we're going to do is I'm going to wait until, oh, until after the new year, and then we'll upgrade the server. In the meantime, though, what I'm going to do is as soon as I'm done with the Ars Magica, we're going to come back in as mages, and we'll start working with the Bibliocraft, which, oh, not Bibliocraft, is it Bibliocraft? Uh, do, 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 do. This thing. Yeah, Botania, sorry. So as soon as I'm done with the Ars Magica stuff and I show you the last couple items, then I'm going to start working on, with Botania from that chest that I just showed you. And that way, I mean, I'm, unfortunately, when I start, when we start the server over, I believe I'm, I'm kind of, we're going to wipe this world because, I mean, Ars Magica is not going to be part of the server anymore. So half of the stuff here is just going to break. So we're just going to wipe the world and start over. Um... So that also means that after I'm done upgrading the server, I will have to start the Botania over again, but that's okay. Because let's, being honest with you guys, I don't know anything about Botania. I'm going to be learning as I go, so I, I haven't played Botania at all. That's why Alex went ahead and brought me all this nice little stuff right here. I think it's one of each flower and the, and the book. So... We're going to be learning as I go, essentially. Now, I'm going to try to learn it before I record, because that's just you know, a smart way of doing it, right? Let's go out here. Let's let's see what's going on over here by this. Do, 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 do. Yeah, see, you're getting nice and filled up over there, but you're not actually collecting anything in the things over here, because the server disconnects everything. I don't know why. I... I Blah. Don't care. Doesn't matter. We're getting rid of you. Huh. All right. Look, I got a nice little forest over here. Whoa, guys. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah. I should probably eat. Yep, 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 yep. Nice and protected over here, aren't I? I'm going to pick that stuff up right there. Thank you very much. A little dark in here. Yeah. Gotta keep your wits about uh, going into the dark forest after all. <laughs> Sorry. Harry Potter, man. Love it. Love Harry Potter. I love everything magical. Haven't you noticed? Have you figured it out yet? I like magic. I like magical games. I like games about wizards and movies about wizards and all kinds of magical stuff. Which, I don't know anything about Batania, um, and what really quirks me is if one thing you'll notice when I play in games, one thing that I don't do, and I really probably should get into the habit of doing, is using potions. I'm really bad about not using potions. Like, I play all these games as wizards and stuff, and I, I play, you know, Oblivion and Skyrim, I make all those potions in Oblivion, and I don't use a single one. I just make them and sell them. I'm just really bad about potions, because, I mean, that's being honest with you. Carrying a bunch of potions around, and then you have to stop and look, find the right potion, is just annoying. In your face. Hi, Creeper. Being a wizard is awesome. Look, I mean, you have to get close to them. Shoot them from a distance. I hear you. Ow, 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 where'd you go? Where'd you go? Punk? Yeah. Really disappointed. I heard the Enderman and then he disappeared, and now I haven't seen a single one since. Where's all the Enderman? Where'd the Enderman go? Oh. It's all good. It's all good. It don't matter. I don't need him. I don't need him. It. So, yeah, I don't, like, Botania is, I don't think it's, like, potions or anything. So, I think that'll be cool. I can actually, I think I might actually like it. I don't know. But we have other mods that we are discussing uh, about putting into Season 3. Just because the the mods are installed does not mean that I will be covering them in Season 3. Uh, what The goal here is this. We're going to install all the mods that we want, that I'll eventually want to cover, and I think we're probably going to go ahead and install them all. I don't know. Uh, as long as that they don't collide, they don't break each other, something like that, and it's not going to kill the server, then I'm okay having all the mods installed. The capped 
Oh, okay. I was like, wait a minute, am I missing something in there? But okay. Uh, the what's gonna what's gonna happen is I'll cover one mod until I've covered, feel like I've covered everything in the mod, and I've shown you all the basics of the mod, and then I'll move on and pick another mod. And that'll make a new season for me, but it won't be a new season for the server. So that way, I won't have to be, you know, rebooting the server and starting new worlds all the time. We can have all the mods installed, and I can just, you know, go for years and years and years without having to start a new world. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But you get the point is that I don't want to have to be starting a whole new world. I don't want to have to make you start over every time I start a new season on the show. Um kind of want to make it more stable is i guess that's the word i'm looking for i want the server to be more stable which as you see the server is fairly stable i've done we've done a very good job of keeping the server stable and running so i want to keep it that way but when i'm talking about instability right now I'm, look i'm having glitches look at my hearts yeah that's another issue i've been having i don't i think that's ours magic that's breaking that i don't know but what i'm talking about instability right now is me having to restart new worlds, you know, you pretty much wiping out everything you guys have built every time I add a new mod or something. I don't, I don't, I don't really like doing that. So I'd like to go ahead and get all the mods installed that we're going to be using at some point, and that way, if I have to, I'll restart my world, and your survivor world will, won't, will you, it'll be left untouched. Uh, you guys will just keep playing. It's all good. Anyway, so that's going to be it for today's episode. Um, as always, just a like, a comment, and a share. Let's me know that you care. Thank you so much for watching. Ow. And we'll see you in the next episode.